Myself Ojasan, the captain and the head of media and documentation. Myself Miraj, and I am the vice captain and software designer of the team. Myself Devanch, I am the logistic and support in our team. Myself Manas, I am the hardware designer of the team. Executive summary of the challenge. Objective to build autonomous robot that can be stimulated rescue scenarios. Technical innovation. Showcase creative and original solution in hardware and software design. Robot design. Create Genbot efficient and terrain adaptive robots using custom built components. Programming. Develop autonomous code that reliably navigates challenges and perform rescue tasks. Performance. Score points by successfully overcoming obstacles and making decisions. Hardware Components EV3 Intelligent Brick The brain of the robot controlling sensors and motors. Two large motors drive the left and right wheels independently. Two color sensors mounted at front side by side and slightly angled inverted to detect the line. Wheels and chassis A stable base with two driven wheels and one or two support robot wheels. Cables and connectors to link sensors and motors to EV3 brake. Ultrasonic sensors to navigate obstacles. Software design and rational. Firstly, what it is? A two sensor PID line follower employs dual EV3 color sensor to enhance line tracking, accuracy, and efficiency. The system utilizes a PID, Proportional Integral Derivative, control algorithm to dynamically adjust the robot steering based on real-time sensor data. How it works? Sensor. Two color sensors measure reflected light intensity from the left and the right side of the line. Error calculations. The difference between the sensor, readings and a target value is used to compute the error. PID control. Proportional P. Reacts to the current error. Integral accounts for accumulated past error. Derivative predicts future error based on rate of change. These values are combined to adjust motor speeds, keeping the robot centered on the line. Strategies and innovative solutions. Innovative solutions to common bugs. Bug, inconsistent color detection. Solution, implement a moving average filter to reduce noise and smooth sensor readings. Bonus, to prevent rapid switching between colors due to borderline values. Bug. PID output oscillations. Solution. Climb the PID output to a safe range and implement a dead band to ignore minor fluctuations. Bonus. Use derivative kicks. Suppression by computing derivative on measurement instead of error. Bug. Sensor saturation or overflow. Solution. Validate sensor output range and applying scaling or normalization. Bonus, use adaptive scaling based on ambient light readings. Work, slow time response. Optimize loop timing and reduce sensor polling delay. Bonus, use interrupt based reading if supported by microcontroller. Knowledge sharing. Initially, this, the task seems straightforward. Detect a black line on a white surface using a color sensor and follow it. However, a first test runs Relevant significant issues. The robot's movement was erratic, often zigzagging, varying off the line or stopping unexpectedly. Upon investigating the sensor data, we discovered that the ambient light significantly affected the sensor's accuracy. Even minor variations in room lighting led to inconsistent reading. To address this, we implemented the following improvements. Sensor calibration. Perform under varying lighting conditions to improve reliability. Dynamic thresholding. Replace fixed uh, direct detections values with adaptive thresholds based on real-time feedback. Motor control turning. Adjust motor speeds to minimize overcorrection and smooth out movement. After multiple illustrations and testing, the robot was able to follow the line consistently, even around curves and junctions. Key takeaway. Even simple technologies require careful calibration and turning. This experience reinforces the importance of attention to detail, adaptive design, and perseverance in robotics development.